Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna talk about if statements. So an if statement is also known as a conditional statement. Now that doesn't mean all conditional statements are if statements, but a conditional statement is just saying, if I do this, then do this, okay? So an if statement is also known as well as an if then. So oftentimes, if something, then do this, okay? So if then, and you also hear this last one, if then else. So if then or if then else. I, so there's a lot of different ways to describe this, but an if statement includes a conditional statement, or it is also a conditional statement, and then uh, you might hear the term if then else. Okay, so in this first video though, we're just gonna look at if, and we're also gonna look at kinda how stuff is formatted in Python. Uh, so let's go ahead and create some variables, uh, very simple variables here. Let's call this, uh, mm, let's maybe 20 and 30. Okay, and so an if statement, if you're going to use an if statement, it's simply constructed uh, kind of like we did when we were printing. It's just going to be constructed out of a whole bunch of expressions that will resolve to a true or false value. Let's say that. Okay, so it's going to be usually some sort of equality statement. So you're going to say if, uh, let's say if A is equal to B, or B is, let's just say if A is equal to B first. So an if statement looks like this, and it should for you automatically indent uh, by a tab, so it should tab in for you. Now, I'll show you why that's important uh, in a second. So let's print, uh, yes, okay. Now, given that A is not equal to B, this shouldn't print. So if I run this, I get nothing to print. But if I say if A is less than or equal to B, it will print, okay? So it says yes, there it prints. Now this, this right here, this is a four spaced tab. Now if I were to, to move it over three times instead of four and run this, let me actually fix that there. Huh, seems to be printing. There we go. All right. So it seemed to be my file wasn't quite saving, right? Uh, so in this, in this case, if you put this here and it's not indented uh, correctly, it's going to give you a indentation error. And this is another common error to get in Python. So you get syntax errors that can include many different things, usually means you type something wrong. An indentation error is a type of error where you didn't indent correctly. So you need to back this up and tab in one time and then it will run. Okay, so Anytime you have an if statement, and anytime you see this, any, pretty much anytime you see a colon at the end of a statement, you're gonna indent afterwards. That goes for functions and loops and anything. So anytime you see this colon, you're gonna indent and then do all the code there. So any code that I were to put down here, yes, again, if I put that there, it's gonna print all of those. Okay, so anything that is here is in this if statement will go inside of this. Now I could put another if statement here and say if C is uh, greater than 50 or 40, let's say, print yes again for the third time. And of course that won't print. So basic idea of an if statement here. Now, if statements are usually gonna be a little more, I don't know, they'll have a little more meaning than this. So let's actually give this next example some more meaning. So let's say that, uh, let's say we're searching for a name. So I have this name, this uh, string of names. And this string of names is just gonna be a whole list of names. So we're gonna say Raul, and uh, we'll say quatch, and then we'll say Timmy, and 
we'll say Hiroki, and we'll say, pick a whole bunch of names here, uh, Marie, and Alphonse, and Tom, and uh, Emily, and uh, Kimmy, and we'll say that. Okay, so now I've got a whole, a whole list of names here, and what we're going to do is we're going to search this string of names, or we're going to ask an if statement. So we're going to say if, uh, we're going to say if Timmy in string of names, then print Timmy is here. Okay. So I do this and I get uh, Timmy is here. So I could also do if Timmy, let's do another one. Let's say if Axel, not in string of names, print Axel is not here. Okay, so I have if Timmy's in string of names, meaning if Timmy's name is in this list, we're going to say Timmy's here, and Timmy's name is in this list. And if Axel is not in the string of names, which is Axel is not in there, it will tell me that Axel is not here. Okay, so that works pretty well. Um, Let's give some some ages. So let's say Timmy age is equal to 20. And let's make a compound statement here. So we're going to say if Timmy is in string of names or uh, and Timmy age is less than 15. So is this going to print Timmy is here this time? Well, this first part. This is actually two statements here. Uh, we have Timmy is in the string of names, that's true, but Timmy is not less than 15, which means that it will not print. Now, this is okay. You can write this just like this. Uh, another way you could do it is you can put parentheses around each item. Some people like to do this. Uh, I guess it's kind of whatever you choose, but some people see, see these parentheses as a way to kind of break apart the long uh, string. If they have a whole bunch of statements and maybe they have like four things they're looking for, if they put those there, uh, it'll still run just the same, but it's really just a formatting thing. So if you like it with that, then do it. If you like it without the extra text in there, you want it to read more like a sentence without a bunch of parentheses in, then leave it like that. Okay, so let's actually change this um, to something else so we can get Timmy's name to pop up. So Timmy is here and Axel is still not here. Okay, so this is the very basics of an if statement. Uh, the if statement, you can actually put as many things on here as you want. Um, we can actually put or uh, Raul in string of names. Still going to print Timmy is not here uh, because we have Raul. Uh, but we, if I said, uh, let's call it Tizzy, uh, and let's say 15. Well, is this going to print Timmy is here or not? Well, if you look at this, going from left to right, this is going to be, let's write these down here. So this is false. This is also false. Okay, and this is true. All right, so when this evaluates, if you remember things evaluate uh, left to right. So in this case, we have false and false. So this will end up being evaluated to false, both of these together. And now false or true is gonna give you a true. So this will end up printing, Timmy is here when we run it. Okay, so just a kind of a little check for your understandings and if you've been keeping up with what we've been doing. Uh, this is a pretty simple video. This is all you're really going to be doing with if statements in here. Uh, in the next uh, video, we're going to expand the if statement and we're going to look at if and else if and then else statements. So instead of having multiple statements, we're going to do a whole bunch of things compounded into one. Okay, so just remember when you're doing an if statement though that this happens and then right after 
anything you put needs to be indented once. So if I want to put more stuff in here, I'm going to have to do like, uh, uh, yes, he is. Okay. So I do this. Uh, now, if I run this, you're going to see both of these will come out. But let's try to make them not come out. Let's say I have Paul. Okay. So now none of these are true. This is actually false because Paul is not in there, which means neither of these two print statements will actually print out. Okay. So if statements or conditional statements or an if then statement, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's kind of one of the foundations of programming. You'll be using them a whole lot, pretty much everywhere. In every program you write, you're going to have an if statement. Okay, uh, so in the next video, as I said before, we're going to look at the, the then and, or the else part and the else if part of an if statement. So expand what an if statement can do just a little bit. All right, uh, see you in the next video.